Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about instances and prefabs in this video. So I've got myself kind of a basic world set up here with a light and some texture and things like that. Just really basic so that we have kind of an empty canvas. And down in my project folder, I've got some assets here that I can use to make my world. So I've got a crate prefab and a snowman prefab. And we're going to talk about what prefabs are. Um, basically, in your game, you're going to have objects, right? If I go and create a cube, this cube is an object in the game. So it exists in the game world. It can be moved around. It can be resized. It's a thing in the world. That's an object. And if I make a copy of it, now I've got two cube objects. And if I make another copy of it, now I've got three cube objects. So anything that exists physically in your game world is an object. But those objects have to come from somewhere. And often, if they're more complex than just a simple cube, they're going to come from what we call prefabs. So you can think of a prefab as a blueprint for an object, so it describes what the object looks like, what it's capable of doing, how it uh, operates in the game environment. So I've created a couple of uh, prefabs. I have one that I made, this snowman right here, which consists of a body and a head. And then I've got this crate that I downloaded from the asset store. So you can get assets, uh, prefab assets from the asset store, or you can make your own just by assembling them in Unity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of these prefabs. So a prefab is the blueprint. An instance is an object that you create from that blueprint. So I have my snowman prefab right here, and I'm going to create a snowman object by just dragging it right out into the world. And this object is an instance of the snowman prefab. Now that's an important keyword to remember, because when you actually go and create an instance using code, you're going to use the, the uh, instantiate function. So instantiate means to create an instance of. So you're creating an instance of the snowman. Now, that's the real benefit to uh, prefabs, is that you can instantiate them as many times as you want, and you can, in your code, describe how to instantiate them so the game can do it for you. So when you make something repeatedly, like maybe you have a gun that's going to shoot bullets, or you have a, a person that's going to build things with blocks or something like that, you want to be able to create objects in your game world, and you'll use instantiate to do that. So I can instantiate this snowman by dragging him in oops, as many times as I want. And all of these objects share what we call a prefab connection. So all the instances of the same prefab are connected to each other. So I can make changes to them. I can make this guy bigger. I can make this guy smaller. I can stretch this guy out. But they're all still connected. And so I have options right up here in the corner of my inspector for things like uh, revert, where I can revert back to the original prefab, so undo any changes I've made, things like that. I think I can also click Apply and have any change that I made to one instance be applied across all instances. Uh, I can also click Select and select the prefab itself. So there are a few prefab-related options that you can uh, play around with. So uh, go ahead and give that a try, and good luck with your instances and your prefabs. OK, next up we're going to talk about creating your own prefabs. So I'm going to make a really simple object, maybe like a little house or something. And we're going to create a prefab from it so that we can make copies of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start by making a just real simple kind of four walls and a roof house. So I've got a nice thin wall here. Extend it a little bit. Make it taller. There we go, that's a nice wall. In fact, I can use multiple prefabs to make this process even easier. So I'm going to call that wall. And I am going to drag it down into my assets window. This is the key here. I'm going to drag it down into the assets window to turn it into a prefab. So now I have this wall prefab. And I can pull that out and use it. So maybe I'll make another wall. Oops. Um, I don't like the way this is rotating. There we go. So I want to try to get that lined up to make my house. But basically, I've made a copy of the wall by creating a prefab of it. And I'll make a couple more walls. Put one right, whoa. Put one right there. And then I'll get a fourth wall over here. 
and I'm instantiating these prefabs, I'm making them from, sorry, I'm, I'm instantiating these objects from a prefab. Oops. So let's uh, get that arranged. Put that over here. Not the best construction ever, but it'll do. I'll go ahead and make a roof. So I'll make a new cube. Actually, maybe I'll make a roof out of the wall. So I'll go ahead and pull out another wall. But this time I'll rotate it a little bit. Let's get that rotated on this axis. Oops, that's the wrong one. I want this one. There we go. I'll just move that into position here. go. So we're going to call that one roof. Make a prefab out of that as well. So now roof is another prefab that I can just drag out here. Flip it around. Get that arranged into position. House isn't gonna keep the rain off you, but it'll do, you know, whatever it can. Let's just uh, rotate these a little bit. Not a perfect house, but it'll do. We're making games, not houses, right? There we go. Not my best work, but it'll do. So there's my house. So uh, kind of like what I've done with my previous objects when I group them all together with parent-child relationships. I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm going to create an empty game object with the name house. And I'll just take all the parts of the house, and I will attach them to that house object. So now house is a single thing. I can move it all around by itself, and I can even take it and drag it into the assets window to make a prefab. So here's my house prefab. And you may not see this if you have the older version of Unity, Unity 3, but if you have the newer version, you can even see that if I expand it, here's all the different parts. So I can see the prefab, and I can see what it's made from. If you're using Unity 3, you might see something that looks more like this, where you see a prefab house, and then here's all the parts. So that is how you create your own prefab.